looking deep down the left side. Mendeville in the end zone. Touchdown! Pouring to the house. And the players streaming from the sideline to celebrate with 17 seconds left. Hey, welcome everybody back to Be Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. It was wet, windy, and downright nasty there for a while this evening. So that's why out of the 12 games that were supposed to be played with Kern County teams in them in the Central Section Boys Soccer Quarterfinals, only four of them were played tonight, including just one in town. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, over at East High, the Yosemite Divisionals Wrestling Tournament. First day, Zach Ewing was a madman with our live blog. You can check it right here at Bakersfield.com. Go through the entire day. I went out there, got some video. Here's what we have. Well, there are 13 locals in the semifinals after quarterfinals were done here. Early in quarterfinal action, they had 120 pounds. Ryan Morphis, the frontier, going against Andrew Blumhoff and BHS. Morphis with the takedown. He wins it 3-2 to two and will move on. He had four other teammates going to the finals. Cole Reyes, 106 pounds. Elijah Ozuna, 132. And Jonathan Garcia, 152 pounds. Here at 138, that's J.J. Figueroa. If you guys forget, last year on this day, he broke his elbow, was in a cast, couldn't finish out his junior year. Now the Fresno State commit looking to be state-bound in his final year at BHS. Here in the semifinals against Isaiah Wall of Clovis West, Figueroa down 2 nothing early. Gets the takedown here, takes the 4-2 lead, but Walls would battle him back. Figueroa ranked number three in the state walls in the top 20. Figueroa needing two different blood timeouts to get that nose all patched up and ready to go. And it worked out here with a minute 20 left in the third period. Figueroa with the takedown, takes a 6-4 lead. Walls would get a, an escape, make it 6-5, excuse me, a 6-4 victory for Figueroa and ends a very emotional day for the BHS senior. You know, a big relief because last year I was sitting watching the stands crying with a cast on my arm. So it feels real good getting past that, you know. It was always in the back of my head. Honestly, I try not to think about it as much, but as soon as I saw all those kids over there, and the kid from the school, Madera South, I saw that school and it all came back. So, you know, I was a little nervous, but you know, I, I tried not to think about it. I put it in the back of my mind. And we move on here at Frontier. Another one of those Titans that's going to be moving on. That's Willem DeBoer at 182 pounds going against Jacob Good of Clovis DeBoer. Challenged, but he holds on for the 8-5 victory. Move on into the semifinals. And the other quarterfinal, 182 pounds, that's Sam Loera. He's victorious with a major decision. He'll be moving on. And then 195 pounds, Adrian Godinez, excuse me, of Foothill. Not Never one shot. to be shy in front of the camera. He was dinged up, dinged up beat up. But man, he is strong going up against Chris Apricio of Central. And Godinez was dominant in this one, despite an ankle injury that had him stop on an injury timeout for a portion of the match. Godinez does take the victory here. Other local semifinalists are Liberty's Jer Jeremy Moss at 170 pounds, and the BHS is Isaac Olenek's 126 pounds, and Devontae Demison, 145, Dylan Cravens at 152, and Ricky Gonzalez at 160. At this point of the season, everything hurts. Everybody's hurting, though. Everybody has feel the same way I'm feeling. You know, everybody's hurting. Everybody wants to quit. Everybody pretty much done the season, but you know, the ones that end up being more successful are the ones that I just keep pushing it, pushing it. Like when I go out there, I see the same guy just like me. Probably has same same amount of problems, same amount of injuries as me. You know, but the only thing I got over them, I worked hard and I worked through it. Well, like I said, only four of those soccer matches got off, but we did have a few good ones in overtime. Golden West, the number one seed in Division Two, defeated East, the nine seed, three to two up in Visalia. Here in town, in the mud, Independence in overtime, defeated Mission Oak of Tulare, four to three. And Independence is at Dinuba in the semifinals. Well, because Dinuba defeated Highland, the 10 seed, two to nothing. And then also in Division 5, Chavez victorious, 4-2. to two. They will host the winner of Rosamond Colinga in a match that will be replayed, excuse me, postponed until Tuesday. 
Well, that's all the action we have for you tonight. Tomorrow, not on Varsity Nightly, but right here at Bakersfield.com, we'll have video highlights of the Yosemite Division semifinals with the Kern County wrestlers on our website. If you need to check anything with day two of the Yosemite Divisionals, make sure you check out Zach Ewing's live blog at Bakersfield.com. Until Tuesday, I'm Trevor Horn. You guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.